Okay, let's talk leftovers. So, for Thanksgiving, we did a, um, like a barbecue style twist on Thanksgiving. So, Paul did a, um, he injected a turkey. He injected a turkey with barbecue sauce and smothered it in barbecue sauce um, and seasonings um, and smoked it. It was so, wow, so good. So we kind of went with a few things that would be barbecue and a few things that would be traditional. So a lot of people have like macaroni. So I did my, um, um, I did, what are you, <laughs> my spicy macaroni, which I'll do for barbecues now because I made it before and everybody fell in love with it. So I'm like, it, it's like a thing now. So I do the, um, well, what I did, uh, cause I was like trying to have some fun is I actually found a uh, Texas shaped macaroni. So I use that and um the Velveeta um Kroger brand of um the queso blanca cheese. And the first time I did this, I don't know I don't know what made me think I was good, like I was just like I want to do something different. But it would not get creamy enough. So I happen to have a can of Alfredo sauce. And I added that to it to help cream it up. Because I was like, there's no way you're going to taste Alfredo. And you really don't. Um, I did do two cans of Alfredo to this one because I was feeding more people. Um, but, and it did. It made a bunch. And even though a lot of people ate it we had tons of leftovers so this i cooked up some chicken i diced up chicken i put some taco seasoning on it and i have been letting this cook in itself and i accidentally kind of burnt the bottom a little because my can opener i need a new can opener and i was struggling to get my beans open but so now i have my black beans i decided that are gonna open now, of course, because I'm on camera. Um, give me a second. Sorry, I'm also decorating for Christmas. I had actually just done a live, but I decided to do just a regular video. I'm gonna put y'all down for a second. Do a regular video real quick. Um, there. <laughs> Um, Brian is in there on the phone with someone else. Guys, if this was like maybe regular, I look so fat. I've lost so much weight too. Paul was even telling me this morning that I've lost weight. Um, if this was not already so spicy, I would say, you know, throw some Rotel in there. And you can make it like a Mexican casserole, cheesy casserole. But seeing that this is spicy, I'm like, no, no Rotel. So what else could I add to kind of, you know, make it go further? And yeah, so I was like, duh, black beans. Because I love black beans. <laughs> and it now makes it look like a whole better meal. Look at this, guys. Oh yeah. This is gonna be amazing. I could actually, depending on how many people you had to feed um, or how much leftovers you wanted, even from these leftovers, you could actually, from what I've made, I could put two cans of black beads in here. I'm not going to. Um, see, it's Tuesday, so it's Thursday. This would be a week old. Uh, Anything after a week goes in the garbage if it's left. But I try not to have much leftovers, especially right now. There's so many people out there 
starving, I just, I feel bad if we're throwing any kind of food away. So, um, yeah. Uh, one of the other things I like to do with, um, leftovers, if you are familiar <laughs> with my Facebook at all, um, I do homemade turkey pot pies. Ooh, yeah, there's a reason I do not get skinny. Not trying to get skinny, but this is definitely why I won't ever be skinny. Because homemade turkey pot pies are not healthy. Pretty sure you could try to find a way. Unpot pie them. Anyways. Um, and then one of my other go-tos is with leftover macaroni. The regular uh, just yellow uh, macaroni is do a ham and cheese casserole. So you just dice up leftover ham, throw it in there with the macaroni, put some breadcrumbs or something on top, and you got a meal. It's not healthy, yet again, not healthy. But it gets rid of your leftovers, and really, the whole week after Thanksgiving and Christmas, we do not. Do not have to buy food. I will make all of it work for uh, for leftovers. So, yeah. I am going to take... Um, I mentioned this in my live earlier. So, if you do not... And it does not have to be by Modere. But, find you a good car blocker. Okay. Modere's is one of my favorite because it is not stupid expensive and I do not want to spend stupid expensive money to block carbs at that point I should have stopped eating carbs um their digestive enzymes is also one of my favorite these two combinations or this two together it will either help you maintain really really well especially during the holidays or in my case where I had not been on these in a while um <clears throat> and eating junk at the beginning of uh, the whole COVID lockdown, shut America down thing. You would have thought we would have ate better, but we didn't because um, we weren't going out to eat or nothing. I was cooking at home. Anyways, I gained 30 pounds and I have already lost um, like 10 pounds and a whole bunch of inches. Paul was telling me this morning, he was giving me a hug, goodbye. And he's like, oh, yeah, I can definitely tell that you're, like, losing inches, inches now. It's like, yes, I need, I needed that, and I need to go to the gym. But, okay, so this was an extra long video, but I enjoy sharing stuff with y'all, and hopefully, you know, I don't know, hopefully you, if you didn't know about some leftover stuff, you got some leftover stuff. If not, I just rambled and... Hopefully you enjoy my crazy videos. I'm a little dorky. If you haven't noticed, I am a just I'm just a big dork. That's all. So I love you all. Have an awesome blessed evening. Um, I probably won't post this till tomorrow. So if you see it tomorrow, have an awesome blessed uh, Wednesday. And you know, enjoy life. Get. Uh, just be positive. I'm, I'm trying. I have to, I am one of those people. I have to constantly try to find positive in everything because I let everything like weigh me down and get, get my heart sad. And <laughs> I like to be a happy person, but life, you know, kind of, kind of weighs us down sometimes. So I try to be positive every day, look for the best in each situation, even the worst situations. I try. If you need help, I will definitely talk to you. I love listening and I, I'm, the cats are going to fight now. I will just, I will talk to you or not talk to you. I, I will listen and, you know, just be a, a listening ear. And I have several of my awesome friends that just let me do the same. And I'm really good at just listening and keeping my opinions to myself unless you ask and then I will give you the best advice I possibly can and yeah if you need anything you're feeling down you know we can video chat we can talk on the phone or you can just watch my videos and
probably be bored. I don't know. All right, bye guys. <laughs> no, I just took a picture of myself. I did not hang up. I still don't know how to work this after all this time. Okay. Uh, okay, there we go.